This is Carl Sagan. Welcome. Thank you for coming. It is a pleasure to be here. Who am I speaking to? I'm Max Rempel. Max Rempel, are you a scientist? Yes. Mostly people that love scientists or science call me, or astronomy or things of science. Thank you. Do you mind being speaking on record? I want to publish it on YouTube. I guess it would depend on the questions. Uh huh. Thank you. So, um, I wonder how do you look, are you paying attention to what is happening now? What's your, what's your estimation of things happening now and your predictions? Well, since I am in the astral world, if you want to call it that, or the spiritual world, it is easier for me to comprehend what is happening to the planet in many ways, mm -hmm. scientifically, morally, and in most ways. I look back on it and see that it has deteriorated in some ways, but yes. actually has ascended in others. Mm -hmm. So your moral compass is confusing mm -hmm. because you see yourselves as being flawed people and bring many flaws on yourself. and you don't need to do that. But as flawed people looking at yourselves, you tend to move in a negative way. But there are others that are moving very positively through healing and through positive modalities that change them. So this is something I see also. But the actual state of the earth physically is rough. There's a lot of earthquakes, a lot of volcanoes. The weather is very bad. The axis is not good. Um, it's not being broadcast very uh, broadly, but the axis is very unstable. And of course, they don't want people to know that. They're dealing with it as, it, it, as they are working with it. Are you but, following the developments of uh, exopolitics, like which aliens are working with us? Well, of course. There are several different species around your planet, and they are all interacting in one way or another, but most of them are just informational. Some of them are just watching. Some of them are just actually just watching what is happening, happening to the planet. But there are those that are actually intervening in some politics, in some personal ways, and they are making a difference slowly. I, I had an impression that some group of humans and aliens had a very specific plan how to help us. Are you aware of that? A plan? Yeah. yeah. Like, like coming already, and, and doing things. They have already been doing things. And they have already made you aware of their plans, uh, pretty much, through media, through movies, through many things. There are aliens that have made their agendas rather clear. But there are other agendas that are not so clear. Like with first contact, there is no way to predict a first contact because humans must create their own reality of con first contact. It is not going to be dependent on the governments as even some aliens believe, but it will be dependent on everyone uh, understanding and believing that aliens are the, the way of the future. The, the galactic understanding must be accepted and embraced. Uh-huh. Uh, do, you, do you see any a uh, good perspective for economy like um what uh, what is the what is the plan for transformation on the early there construction of our economy there are several different plans um of course you have plans from the people of the earth the politicians that are there already they have plans they know that the economy is not going to last 
in the same form that it is now, so they are preparing themselves and their places and their um, businesses for change. There are some small changes coming even as we speak. The Bitcoin operations and those that are non-money money are also a part of the future, but this is only the beginning. There will be a greater evolution of this idea. But also the way that businesses are run will have to change in some ways. And the way that money is handled will also have to change because it is not handled efficiently by any part of the financial world. So even places like the banks or financial institutions are very haphazard in many ways and do not understand the full power of money. It is the ultimate power on your planet. And with the collapse of your financial systems is also the collapse of countries and governments. You understand that? So you see it coming soon? I do. Ah. But no one can predict when. You see, as I said, humans create their destinies as they move forward. And I see you creating a destiny of great change at this time. Because you know it's needed, but, you, but the thing is, there is a great amount of fear attached with, to that change. The fear is greater than the change. The fear that comes before it will cause many, many disruptions and also affects the earth because it, the earth karma does affect how the earth is physically. Does that make sense to you mm -hmm. as well? Mm -hmm. So it will affect physicality on the earth with earthquakes, volcanoes, and weather. The axis is now causing a great deal of the weather problem. Thank you. Um, I had a question about your life. Uh, were you connected to extraterrestrials? Did you have did you have personal contact with them? I did, but I was not allowed to speak of it publicly, uh -huh. or even to those around me. But they did give me some information that I did share on my programs mm -hmm. and programming. As you are aware, I was pro-alien and pro-extraterrestrial, but they do not like the word extraterrestrial. They prefer actually the word alien mm -hmm. because it actually is more correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, did you meet them face to face? A couple of times, but that was, uh, but then uh, they also erased what was said Okay. from my memory. I could remember seeing them and remember spending time with them, but then they erased all knowledge of what was spoken about at that time. Huh. Uh, so did, was it uh, independent of governments or through the government? Oh, definitely independent. Uh-huh. Uh, so what was the pressure on you? Why were you so... Uh, uh, in completely promoting the alien idea. Why was I incomplete in promoting it? Yeah, that was clearly a pressure on you. Maybe the government had yeah, censorship. Over. Not, there, not only did the government not wish that all that information be shared, or, or even what I believed be shared, they, but the studios also were we don't want opinions, we want facts. Mm -hmm. We want just facts that we know that are true, that can be researched and looked up, and that people will be happy that you share them. We do not want speculation. We do not want you to say what you think is happening, but we do want you to say only the truth. And there were a couple of times where even the truth was too much for 
the broadcasting companies. Mm -hmm. They were um, censoring the information because they did not, A, did not want to start something. Mm -hmm. That was exactly the, the words they used. They did not want to start something mm -hmm. that, that they could not control. And they couldn't actually, they had no understanding of it. And so they could not control it if it were to expand as they saw it expanding. And the other thing was they wanted to remain professional. And professional means that you don't speculate and you don't give your opinions unless they are scientifically based. I had a feeling that you were under control in a more strict way. That looks like you were afraid of something. What? How did they control you? Well, well, they threatened my position, of course, and that was a fear-based thought process. I did not want to lose my position. I did not want to uh, be threatened anymore by these people who really had no understanding of what I was doing. They were just producing and directing a program. They were, of course, they understood that science, they understood some of the science that was being given and the astrology, etc. And But they didn't understand why the show existed, except that people were curious and wanted to learn. The show existed for greater reasons than that. It was to promote first contact in the individual to so that they would want part of a galactic scenario but even without mentioning aliens or extraterrestrial life the facts were stimulating enough to get many involved in wanting to learn more about the universe and the galaxy in which they lived in. Also, it gave them a reason to expand their thought processes to include aliens eventually. Uh, do you think your body was alien? My body was unusual, but not really alien. It was human, but I was a hybrid. Uh-huh. Uh, did you have recent past lives or like or higher selves in the alien world? Recent? Yeah. What do you mean by that? It looks like past life uh, go in order. So maybe you're incarnated recently on other planets and that's why you were so into aliens? No. I was into... I had come from a higher... Uh, density, if you want to call it that, that's what you understand. Uh -huh. That's what this human, how he would state it. I came from a higher spiritual area before I came to Earth, and therefore I brought with me some of the thought processes uh, that were unique to that civilization, but I didn't realize it until after I was immersed in learning about the intellectual part of my journey. Uh, were you able to channel aliens or connect to them telepathically? Channeling was not something that was available at that time. No one thought of it. The aliens knew about it, but I said that I didn't want to become part of that because no one would accept it. Mm -hmm. And it and they understood that I was probably correct. So that is not something that I did. Thank you much for your interview. Do you mind if I publish it? Of course not. The questions were benign enough. Thank you. Uh, I have 17 minutes left. Uh, I have another request. Um, recently I heard Jim channeling uh, a Syrian uh, prayer or it was actually a song 
a spiritual song, and which made me like really emotional. So I wonder if maybe uh, some of the Syrian people could contact me now and talk to me and tell me why, why it is so connected to me. A Syrian song, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Syrians are very spiritual, and perhaps you had a connection somewhere with them. Mm -hmm. But I will bring someone from the Syrians area. Thank you. Greetings from where I am. Thank you. Greetings from here. <laughs> 